everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today we are playing with Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Celestial Pearl Palette. I'll also be using the Nude Gasm Face Palette just to tie it all in, so if you're interested in seeing that, just stay tuned. Hey everybody, so I've already got my hair pulled back. Figured we'd uh, get that step out of the way, and I do have some foundation on. I put a little tiny bit of pencil on my brows today, very, very little, because the brows are still healing, even though you really can't see anything there. <laughs> so today, as I said in my intro, we're gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Celestial Pearl. There is the Celestial Pearl, and there is the Cosmic Pearl. And I did put these on Instagram. If you're interested in the Cosmic Pearl, I'll have it over on uh, Patreon, I think. <laughs> uh, I'm not exactly sure when, when that one's coming out. If it is released, I'll make sure it's up here on, on, the, on the channel. Um, or when it's released, I'll make sure it's up here on the channel. So, but I do know that the Celestial Pearl is out. So um, the video is here for all you guys to, to check out. So I will swatch it. I swatched it on uh, Instagram, but I'll swatch it for you guys in a second. There we go, camera focusing. Um, but first, let's go ahead and use the Nudegasm palette on my face. I I did do a video with this um, where I did a 90s supermodel look, uh, which was actually a lot of fun. I got a lot, I got a lot of great comments about the, uh, the look, which was very kind of everybody. I do appreciate it. I still don't think I look anything like Cindy Crawford, but that's okay. Um, so if you're interested in seeing that video, I'll make sure it's linked. But I will show you again. Here is the highlighter and here's the blush from that palette. And then there are two shades that they consider, they call um, contour. I used one as more of a, like a bronzer. And then I used one as more of a contour. They are both appropriate for my skin tone. Um, the deeper one is a little deep for me, but I would, I would argue that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly pale. So I think this particular palette, the new, new, nude gasm palette wouldn't be great for someone who has medium skin tone or deeper. But again, I can't really say because I am so pale, it's hard for me to really gauge, but I would, I would think. Uh, so let me just go in and uh, do a little bit of bronzing, a little contouring today, taking my Tom Ford trusty brush. And I'm gonna go into the lighter shade first. I have this friend here on the side of my face. Uh, if you've watched my channel for a while, I've mentioned my skin most of my life has been exceedingly dry so I've never really had I mean I you know everybody gets everybody gets a little bit of acne but I've never had anything like serious um, and in the last you know several years I really haven't had any <laughs> acne whatsoever and, and lately I've been getting a little bit more like you know breakouts I'm going into the, the deeper shade not a lot I mean I know you know, people who really have, have suffered from acne. So I'm not in any way comparing myself to that. I'm just, it's just kind of interesting because I, it's not something that I really have a lot of experience with. So I don't have a lot of products uh, for acne, uh, to be honest. So for the most part, I'm letting them kind of just run their course. Um, you know, I obviously have all my skincare and everything that I do, but I'm not taking great pains to, to do anything in particular. Probably should at some point, but they seem to go away relatively quickly, so I'm not worrying about it. Um, so highlighter and uh, blush. I will be using my KZ brushes. I feel like I use my KZ brushes more than any brushes at this point. I just really like them. They're very soft. They work really well for most products. Um, we'll use the uh, 03 and 04, yeah, KZ and, and 04. I'll use the highlighter first. There are some products that don't work well with these brushes because they are very soft. Um, so if you're looking for something that has, you know, 
a denser feel to it to pick up more product, then again, I would not recommend these. But most of the time, I'm good with a very soft diffuse look, so it's fine. There are some products though that no matter what you do, you know, you're not gonna pick up anything. It does happen. Uh, most of the products I own though, you can pick them up. I mean, like even this palette, this palette is, um, I don't wanna say hard, but it's not, I don't think it's, I don't know if it's baked gelée. Kinda looks like it might be baked gelée, but you can still pick up plenty of product, or at least, you know, for what I want um, with these soft brushes. So I haven't had a problem with them for anything. Okay, so face is on, like I said, it's gonna be, um, I don't know if actually I did say, I was gonna make this relatively short video because I really wanna concentrate on, on the palette. So let me bring you in closer um, and then we'll swatch and we'll do an eye look. Yes, not all my videos are half an hour long uh, or 40 minutes long or whatever, however long, long. Not all of them. Many of them, but not all of them. Uh, and you know, I don't really intend to make the videos long. It's not like I set out to make them long. It's just they end up that way because I have a lot to say about the products that I'm using usually. So the first uh, shade is a nice peachy shade. It's definitely a satiny shade. The second shade is definitely a topper. Um, it's hard for you to actually see in the camera right now, but when I hold my arm up and we get the camera to focus on it, you'll see they all swatch beautifully. The third shade is definitely a um, uh, sparkly shade. It's This one's definitely a topper. This one has more opacity, but it's still sparkly, and these two look like this one looks like a satin, this one looks like a satin to me. But I'll hold it up, we'll let the camera focus, and you'll see that it's all the shades are um, pigmented enough. Those are my words from, from other videos that I've done. I think they'll show up, I think they'll look nice, but uh, they're not particularly deep, and they aren't... Um, they're not as soft as the shimmers that are in the Smoky Eye Palette that I did a video on. That one, the, the shimmers in there are denser, smoother. Um, they have more, I think they have more of an impact. This reminds me more of her quote, traditional formula. They're still very pretty and I'm not saying they're not a nice formula. I just mean these don't seem as buttery. <laughs> I kind of hate that word and love the word at the same time because it gets across what I'm saying, but I'm also just like, it's not like I want to eat it. <laughs> but <laughs> these, again, are good, but I, I think the Smoky Palette has more, um, the, the, the shimmers seem just super soft and like wet feeling to me. Um, then I just beat me. Anyway, so let's do a eye look. Let's go in with the Sonia G Crease 2 brush and let's go into the um, let's go into the pinkier shade, that fur shade, satin shade. Uh, I got the results from Harper, for those of you who've watched my channel before, you know my little dog Harper, who is the smallest and the youngest of the three dogs, um, had some biopsies done and the biopsies came back uh, totally negative. So they were just, uh, you know, negative, they're just gross, um, and nothing to be worried about, and, uh, so that makes me very, very happy. Uh, he got his stitches removed today, and so he's happy that he no longer has stitches. He no longer has any teeth, either. Um, when he went in for that appointment, he had, the first time we rescued him, and he came to us, he had to have most of it, well, probably half his teeth taken out. Um, and then this appointment, we rescued him six years ago, five and a half years ago. So, um, you know, about five years ago, he had half his teeth taken out. And then this recent one, he had most of the rest of his teeth taken out. So he really doesn't have any teeth. But 
I'll tell you, he is a, uh, a spunky dog because he does not let that get him down. He still eats pretty much whatever he wants. And, uh, you know, dogs, they're just incredibly resilient. You know, they're not like us. They don't uh, complain and bemoan their circumstances. He's just like, I'm fine. <laughs> so I tried to, you know, take lessons from um, Harper in my life because he's always happy. He's always just, you know, thrilled with just being here, which is awesome. Uh, he's a very sweet dog. But uh, yeah, so that made me very happy. So, and then the other dog, Remy, went in at the same time to get his annual stuff done. And it took a whole bunch of blood work and hopefully everything's fine there. And then the oldest, who's gonna be 16 next month, um, is doing well, he's sleeping a lot. <laughs> Seems okay, so. Everything in life is good. Um, let's take the brown shade. I'm gonna go in with a Chanel domed eyeshadow brush. And what we're gonna do is we'll go over like the outer corner of the eye with that shade. It's a really pretty shade. It's um, definitely satiny. Now there's definitely fallout from that, but that's kind of my fault because I should have realized that that was gonna be more powdery. Yeah, and let's just deepen up this outer corner here. It's really pretty, like it, all the shades in here are really nice. Um, but like I said, I think they're more uh, traditional. They're like a glowy, beautiful, they're beautiful. I mean, I am not in any way complaining about the formula. It's really good. I just mean, it's like, I don't see it as being totally different than her, her usual formula. Um, it says on the back, color coded eyeshadows, celestial pearl, luxury palette of pearls. I mean, they're pearlescent. They have a beautiful shine and shimmer to them. I, um, I just, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say they're like, you know, drastically different in any way. Uh, all right, so let's take the mini booster and go into the, um, the shade that I said had more opacity, but was still like um, shimmery. We'll put that in the inner corner of the eye. Yeah, it's really pretty. It has a little bit of a shift. I don't think the camera picks it up really well, but it has this like a little bit of an opalescent shift. Not much, but it's like you can just, I wish the camera could catch it, but it is, it's really nice. It's like a gold pink. I wonder if I put it on my finger if the camera can pick it up. You see that a little bit? Depending on the, it's, a little, it's slight, but it's really nice. Yeah, it's very pretty. All right, now let's take, take a little bit of that topper shade I'm using my finger. I find that that's usually the best thing to do, not always, but to get like the most performance out of it. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's like, it's a beautiful shimmery look. Um, I don't know if I'd say it reminds me of pearls. I guess it kind of reminds me of pearls. I'm looking for my Wayne Goss number three brush. There we go. Um, to buff it out. I mean, I guess, I guess, yeah, pearls. It does. It's just like, I, I don't know, it looks more shimmery than I think of. I guess pearls, to me, pearls have more of a sheen. Um, but I guess, yeah, I mean, I guess pearlescent. It's not a bad way of explaining. Um, I'm gonna go with the mini booster again and take that uh, brown shade and like the satiny just to like emphasize the crease again. Yeah, that's really nice. It's a beautiful look. It's very, very pretty. It's very Charlotte Tilbury. What I mean is like, I think this would work for a lot of folks. I think a lot of people would feel comfortable with these shades. Um, I think it's, it's a, it's a palette that you could do for work and you could also 
jazz it up and make it be good for night. Like if you put on a stronger eyeliner, lots of mascara, you know, that kind of thing. I think it's, you could definitely, because it is so shimmery, because it has such, you know, um, I guess opalescence, pearlescence, but it's, to me, it's shimmer. I think it's a really pretty look. Um, let me clean out the outer corner of my eye real quick. Okay. Just thinking if I want to do, let me just take a little bit of that brown, run it under the lower lash line. I was going to use, you know what? No, yeah, I'll use brown. I was going to use a liner, but I think if you want to use a liner, you absolutely can. And especially if you use something like a little deeper, I think you could make it look more like, I don't know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Dramatic. I think if you keep it like this, you could wear it during the day. Again, it depends on what, you know, what you wear, because we've had this conversation. What is like a daytime look to one person is not to another. But I think this is very much daytime appropriate or evening appropriate. It's just a really pretty shimmery look. Um, the formula feels very smooth. It went on beautifully. It uh, blended really well. I will say the shades kind of blend a little bit into each other. You do have some demarcation um, with some of the shades, but I'm just going back with it like gold shade. I feel like they blend a little. Um, I mean, I'm glad they blend. I don't mean that. I just mean they blend into each other a little bit, but I that might be kind of what it's going for because again, it's this, you know, glowy shimmery look and all the shades are actually in a very similar color story. There's not, the, the two goldish shades, the topper and the one that's really shimmery, are, look very close to one another, except the topper is definitely just topper. And then the pink and the brown satin shades, the pink shade is much, much lighter, but once you put the brown over it, it kind of takes over the pink. So if you'd want to do this even lighter, I'd go with the, pink, the pinker shade, the peachier shade instead of the brown. The brown has more of like, almost like a coppery. All right, let's do a little bit of mascara. We'll be right back. Okay, mascara is on, and I think you'll agree that with the mascara, I think this looks more dramatic. Um, again, I didn't do anything else. I didn't put any liner on, just put mascara on. I think it's a really pretty look. I think it's very shimmery. I think you have, you know, that pearlescent kind of shade, uh, that kind of uh, color story. The, the color that I think is the most pearlescent um, is this one here, which is like this gold, but it also has like almost like a pinky shift. When you look at the camera right now, it looks like pink, but it also looks gold um, when you look at it from a different angle. So it's this one here that I think has the most unique shade to it. Um, that one, I don't know what kind of formula that one is. Like that could be a duochrome, I'll have to look it up. Um, that one's really interesting. These two shades look to me like satins, and then this one looks like a topper. This shade that looks pink right now on the camera, but also has gold when I put my finger up, this is the one that has the shooting stars on it. Um, well, not anymore, but it did. So that must be the formula that's the different formula. And depending how I look at it in different lights, like I said, it has gold or it has pink. So that's the one that I think is the the new formula or different formula. Um, but the others seem, they seem like her, I mean, I'm not saying they're, they're bad, they're good. They just seem like her other formula, but that one, but that one definitely seems different. Like I said, depending on the light, and I don't know if the camera's picking it up at all, but it's either pink or gold and it's really beautiful. So, you know, maybe if you do something with like, just one of the satin shades and then this shade, you'll get the payoff for this. Or if you just use this, you're definitely gonna get, you know, the payoff for it because like I said, it shifts. Um, that's the most interesting shade to me in this palette. Otherwise, it's a really just 
really good palette and you have a, a very shimmery, beautiful look, I wouldn't say it's ultra pigmented. I wouldn't say it's a deep palette, but I will say that it's a very pretty palette. Um, and the color story is, I think it's kind of holiday because you know, you have that, that shift and it's very shimmery. But I also think you could wear this just pretty much any day. I mean, I would wear this. I'd wear this to work. I think it looks, I think it looks really nice. Uh, the face palette, like I said, the nude gasm, I did another video with the, the 80s and the 90s model thing. Uh, I really like this palette. I don't own any of the Charlotte Tilbury palettes, the face palettes. I, I do believe that I only really need this one because this is going to take me forever to go through like forever, but the shades do work well for me. Um, and like I said, my skin tone is like fair to light, maybe light. So, um, the, the bronzers in here are deep, deeper than I would normally buy just for myself, but they're not like, they're not super deep. Um, and the blush is really beautiful. It's like a peachy, you saw on this watch, it's really pre peachy. The highlighter is very golden and I don't particularly love that, but it works really well with this eye look and it does blend really well with the other shades that are in the Nugasm palette. So together, I think it looks really good. I probably wouldn't use the highlighter in there by itself. I would use it with the palette because I do think they blend really nicely. So as I said, um, I believe the Celestial Pearl, when this goes up, it will be available. Uh, I in the US and the UK, I believe. The um, Cosmic Pearl, I, I'll have another video with that one. And then as soon as it's released, I will make sure it's up for you guys to see. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.